Barry, what is what is wrong with these people? Um, you know, well, do you uh, with this? Uh, do you think this will go through? If Saudi Arabia really steps up as the grandfather of the wealth in the Middle East, and Egypt stands up as the most populated country in the Middle East, if those two countries get on board, like it's been leaked, they're going to. We may have peace for the first time in my lifetime and your lifetime. But I'll tell you something, when it strikes close to home, it's really hurtful. A, a nice young man that my son went to school with uh, in California, moved to Israel, joined the army, is in intensive care, was attacked by an Arab terrorist in Jerusalem. It's very common, it's very common, because these people have no hope for a future, they have no hope for a decent job, and if they get promised a huge income for trying to kill somebody, sadly, if you've been going to school since fourth, uh, four years old and you've been seeing Sesame Street where the characters kill Jews and in kindergarten there's plays where you dress up as a suicide bomber and the little boys and little girls in third grade are dressed up like jihadi warriors to kill the Jews, by the time you're an adult, man, that's in your blood. Absolutely. And, and the UN has sanctioned these educational programs, has paid for the books, and doesn't do anything about it. That's part of Trump's plan. Stop promoting terrorism. Publicly renounce murder. Publicly renounce terrorism. Now, you and I as intelligent American adults think, well, geez, that's not controversial. That should be a no-brainer. Guess what? Reject it. Even the simple thought of saying, okay, there is a country of Israel and we're not going to destroy it next week. I mean, doesn't that seem sort of normal to say? Mm -hmm. They can't get agreement even on that. So it might be, and this may be a little controversial for me to say on air, that the other countries in the Middle East, plus Israel, plus the United States, may have to institute the plan uh -huh. and say, whether you're buying into it or not, if you want the money, renounce terrorism. If you want the money, throw the books in the trash can. No more killing Jew television shows. No more killing Jews Sesame Street shows. No more billboards, kill a Jew, get rich. No more pay for slay. And then the money will roll in. And at a certain point, this is my prediction, when there's enough money there and enough jobs there, where Palestinians are making a good living, able to raise their children in peace, they will reject violence because that's no future. Look, I'm sure you've heard of the company SodaStream, right? Oh, yeah. They make uh, the bubbly water, right? It just got bought for several billion dollars by Coca-Cola. And the company used to have a factory in the West Bank. Oh, wow. The Arabs made the same amount of money as the Jews. Very highly paid jobs. SodaStream has been boycotted around the world because it's Israeli owned. Now it's owned by Coke. The Arabs lost their jobs when the factory had to be moved. They were so angry. They were making more than anybody in the West Bank because the Palestinian Authority didn't want Jews to do well, and they certainly didn't want the narrative, do business with Jews and you'll have a decent life. Whereas when you're, when you're in Israel, and I've spent a lot of time there, Arabs and Jews live peacefully together, and they shop together, and they go to food stores together, and they trade together, and they go to the same supermarkets, and they serve in the Army, and the Air Force, and the Navy, and the police, and the government. It's the only country in the world like that. And if you're gay, you won't be killed. If you're in Gaza, it's the death penalty if you're gay. Not a joke, it's the death penalty. They throw you off a building and let you to die in the square, so the other people that might be tempted to turn gay make another choice. It's a horrific lifestyle, 
And they still have stoning to death. And if you're viewers, mm -hmm. what it is, it's in the Bible. They bury you up to your head. Just your head is sticking out. And they come by and drop rocks on your head until you concuss and bleed out in the sand. And that's one of the penalties for adultery. Adultery is getting raped by a man that you can't prove raped you. So they kill you as the victim. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. And yet, that's the society that they are proclaiming as superior to Judaism and, of course, Christianity.